common interest in technology related topics such as development and all of that, socialize, network, connect, and many more. Community, you, you can't believe it's what you can get from the community. A lot of people have gotten jobs through their communities. A lot of people have gotten opportunities to travel out, even just for uh, um, just for conferences to their communities. So the, the opportunity are limited. So uh, limited, sorry. So whatever you're doing, a community can make you be ten times better than that. That's how I should say community. When you're joining any community at all, because I know after now, a lot of people see links that are sharing. I want to join one of the group. Oh, there's Google developers, let me join. There's um for those of you are in school, there's what they call GPSC, I think. Google students, something, something, students club. I want to join. Make sure you have a goal for joining the community. Why are you joining? Because every community you are part of, you should make an impact. You should not just be a best. You sit down there to eat some flowers and just need anything. You know, should not be that kind of person. You should look at what can I do? You are just learning, good. But after learning, you should give yourself a timeline. If I'm going to be in a community for one year, let me learn for six months and let me start contributing. How can I contribute? Or they want to host an event. I can help them clean up the space. I can help them um, answer registration, you know, and all of that stuff. You don't have to be technically good before you come and you know commit to a community. So and when you're somewhere there. Don't just join, ah, let me go and join Fire Data, let me join Jambo Girls, let me join. Ah, you have to be specific, you have to have goals. So, what I see people do these days is that they don't have goals for why they are part of a community. Mokom, yeah, sorry, if you don't understand your mother, that means. Um, I'm I, I hear, 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 Make sure that after a year you feel like a review, does it make sense? Am I getting any impact? If they're, they're not giving you something, are you giving them something? If you don't have what it takes to give, then you should start looking at how you can contribute. Set a timeline for yourself. Um, and that's what community building is about. It's about everybody. You know, you should check yourself. After one year, how much have I grown or how much have I impacted in this community? Are we together? All right. So what are the impacts of joining a tech community? So they are specific about tech community here. Mentorship. There's some people that you can never have access to. I hope you're maximizing. I don't know. I don't know where you would have met the wages. I don't know where you have met the friends. Where would you have met, met these people if not in a community program like this? So maximize things like that. You can walk up to these people and say, I'd like to have a conversation with you. But I know the genius, what's the phone number? <laughs> in this case, don't focus on phone number. What do we get? Email address and the LinkedIn page. You know, they'll remember when oh, I met at Python and we had so 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 you had any conversation, we told me to reach out to you. These are opportunities that are unlimited in the community um, space. Volunteerism, we have talked about that too. Giving your time. You don't have to be an expert to give your time to things. Like you don't have to be all good. Some people say, oh, what do I have to offer? You have your time to offer, you can help with registration, you can help with ushering, you can help with those other things that are more like technical. And if you will be learning for a while, try to teach basic things. Some of you, you are learning five for like six months and you feel like you're not good enough to impact. No, that's not true. You can teach people what is Python. Do you get it? And do you know that in teaching, the more you teach them, the better you get. Do you agree with me? So the more you teach something, the more you understand, the more you start saying, oh, I didn't even see this when I was learning. So volunteering and then support. We cannot do it alone. Like there are many roles that have been covered here that if we have to employ people to pay for it, it's going to cost us millions. And people have done this for free. So when you're part of a community, when you join a community, you can only support. We don't have to protect our again because of that mindset. I, I don't know how to put so what do I have to offer? Let's change that mindset. Teamwork. I mean, <laughs> teamwork makes the work. Teamwork, yes, exactly. So in community, you learn to work together with people. You have that experience. If, if, if you go for interviews, which is general, they will ask you that we ever worked on a team. Where do you get that experience as a university student? Community. You ask you ever worked with a team. Where do you volunteer for any community in your um, in your university, or you can use that to explain that. Oh, we have this uh, GTSC program in my school, and I was one of the team members. And they will see that we understand what you So when they say come with your experience after school, nobody, nobody in the right sense to expect that you have a lot of job experience, but they expect that you can volunteer. 
I mean, in the US, they, they are very particular about things like this volunteering experience or community development, all of that stuff. I mean, in Nigeria, we don't major on it. But there's a way you can always. Um, I'm trying to choose my word carefully because the thin line between packaging and lying is. <laughs> Yeah, I'm a very good and honest person. You see people trying to package but the line. I always want you to understand that there's something called packaging and there's something called line, and there's just one line. So you have to know which side you're falling on. But you could volunteer and you know paint a very good picture about it because you know what you did. You're not just a go head. That's why you know you're not a on that team. You understood the assignment and you can pass it um, along to people. Then you learn. You learn, you get your job experience in there. You learn how to do this. Oh, I was able to manage. So if you're the head for the registration team, for example, you can talk about how you're able to manage three or four people. That's something you would have not paid for. Like, how do you pay for that kind of um, learning opportunity? Then you get engaged, um, you network with people. That's what community gives you. In this place, you get to network with people. Like I said earlier, there's something that you might, I'm not, I'm not even like downplaying anybody. But there's someone that I've never met in my life. Let me speak for myself. If not on this effect, that I would have never, like, if you might never be sit on the same airline, so forget this, I, I probably will be dying. You might, you might not. So sharing, communication, respect. You learn all, of, all those things here, collaboration, and many more. So I'm, I, I decided to personalize it so that it won't look like I'm just here giving you blah blah blue story, um, something personal, because I've been involved in the community since 2016, that's how many years, I think eight years, and actively involved and making impact with communities. So when I when I got into tech in 2012, in my school, I didn't see any all these chairs I, I went to that Any that look at me? Anybody? Any that look at me? Oh, wrong room. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so we didn't have any active community. And for me, I'm not a person I learn on my own. I want to learn with people. So that's why I was looking for those introverts and all of that. So I'm not the noisy person, but I want to learn with people. So I had to like travel. There was a time I was traveling to Lagos for nine weeks. I'm just about four to five on road. And you can imagine on the road. So I traveled every week to Lagos to join the community program, a boot camp. Because I just wanted to learn with people, I just wanted to get that opportunity. So after all of that stress, I just thought about can't we do something in my own school? Can't we have a group of people come together? Because I had to contact people like learning um, differently, or can we not come together to form something? And the first community I started with then, um, I think we did Django Girls first, but it was not a community, it was just a program like those that attended on Wednesday. Django Girls does not really have that community, so they convert you to pioneers, and um, that's where you get the community. But, the first community I created there was Women Tech Makers. You know, I think it was 2018 or 2017. I can't remember the exact year. And then we had, um, you know, a couple of ladies come together to learn and share experience. Okay, so for me, I, I've already shared this story. What did I do differently when I didn't see um, any community in my school? Maybe your own school, maybe your own environment. You might not be in school again, like that your environment. Maybe you are staying around, for example, let's say. Show more value that. And you can't see any evidence. I mean, that is a we have that bar and it's not a problem with it. I'm just going to have like, you don't, you don't have any, you're all the way from the east. I don't have any community around you. With the network you've been able to leverage, ask people that what can we start? This is the state of my um, place. What can we start? You don't have to be like um, experts before you start your community. I mean, at the time I started, I, I probably am just like still a no this as like maybe not exactly what well, I understood the assignment, but I was not a professional, let's use that word. So I was able to pull all of this. And then you need people to work with. So I had friends that they want to make better. On my team, the first event we had, I was more of the um, back end person, most like I would never be anywhere. I don't want to hold the mic as much as possible. But I had another person on my team that was very active. She could do, for example, in fact, I didn't have a laptop. So I, I didn't have my email logged in anywhere. So she logged into my email on her own laptop and sent mail out on my behalf. So we had to like go that far to achieve what we wanted to get. So to start that, maybe 
because of this story, I, you know, like, oh, what can I start in my school? You know, what, can, what are the strategies that we can use to build in a um, sustainable and vibrant Python community or any other community? This is not Python specific now. You can always apply this to any other community. You know, look for what the problem is. So don't, yeah, so because I've said this now, you just go, there's already community in your school, you can't start your own again. Like, why? Why is there a problem? Just join those ones already. So don't create problems. So if there are any communities, reach out to those people and ask that how can you be part of this thing. You know, but in case there is not, address the problem, you know, target the right demography of people. So for example, where I school, the only place you can get um developers is in the university. So it will be a wasted investment if you are going to the town and then you just market to me that I want to do a tech community, come and coach. I mean they are looking <laughs> maybe, but it was like it failed investment already. So I focused on the school where people that would understand what I'm saying were. So look at your demographics. Don't just be interested in ah, okay, okay, we're going to judge me. I want to start a community. Me too. I want to learn a community organization. No, that's not the goal. The goal is to impact and not to take the glory. So um, ask for help. That's what the conference is for. Start noting people that can help you. Yeah, start noting people that do things. That's why you should meet people. I think you should, today's last day, you should have a target that I must meet at least five people. Or let's say you meet ten people and collect with five people. That kind of thing. There's no doubt that you collect with five people. I don't know if they will be able to impact you one way or the other. So ask for that. Con connect with community leaders. Before you do something, work in the shoes of those that have done it before. So that you don't make the same mistakes that they made. So that you don't. So when you make mistakes, that when you learn from people's mistakes, you are like ten times ahead. But if you say, I want to do my thing myself, I'm not so aware yet, so that we know that I did it. So that when I'm talking, when I'm going to write like this, I will say, I did it. I, I, I. No. The goal is not to do it. The goal is to impact life. The goal is not to say, I did it, but to impact life. Then create partnerships. That's when I talked about look out for existing community already. If they are, don't assume that they are not. And then take responsibility. So I just told you about this existing community. So because I was so um I was so interested in making impacts. Like I could go any length, <laughs> but of course not to kill, to make impact. Rose and his dog. <laughs> so um there was a friend of my seven. In fact, I'd already impacted more than a thousand coppers and I not served served. I'm not sure those guys knew that this girl was the university. Well, I'm not be doing with them. So my friend was telling me in the East End and he was like, wanted to hold a community project. I'm like, let's do Jacob girls. I've never been to the East. The fathers are born in the Zone. <laughs> so, and then he said all of that. I'm like, oh, interesting. I would like to do this. So, we started checking online. After that, we started with Jacob girls in the East and there was no Jacob girls. So, along the line, um, I, I wanted to. Um, so it was not I, that's why I said I'm not just I, let's just make it back. So we started making plans and we applied for, because you apply, you want to post the jungle girl skills. So anybody can like, post the jungle girl you can apply the process code. So when we applied, in that process on the Slack channel, I noticed that somebody else is not planning, you know, like, but it's going to be before my own. So I was going to post the, if I remember, the lady did it on the channel, yes, and we are familiar with the list, it's the same thing, but different um seats, different seats. So immediately I heard about her. Remember I've not got to speak this before. So I met her, um, I know this former, um, she's from Nigeria. I met her, I found that the market, because you get stuff to travel with, you almost think that it was my event. Because I wanted to learn from her, but she's from the East, so she would understand that place better, you know, and I did all of that. Do you know that when we got to the East, there was one day where I was, I wanted to withdraw money in the night. I was like, ah, that's me, I want to withdraw my money in the night. So because tomorrow is the event, I don't want to raise the bank. <laughs> they told me that, don't withdraw money. <laughs> when I read it, I can't remember that popular junction they gave. It's a very popular. Yes, okay, we can. So um, I was like, I want to withdraw the money. They're like, hmm, please don't withdraw this money tonight. <laughs> so then, but I later obeyed. And then you won't believe that. We are just beside, I don't know, we are just walking on the road and these two guys just, just came. Bam, like, bring me back, bring me back. Like, for me, forget that we are just scared. So immediately, I just said, like, okay, it's like this guy, I'm like, baby, like, cow. The girls can tell us, I don't know what I'm saying. The guy was like, I guess I don't know, just go in. So the guy with me, when we met, I was like, where did you leave me? I'm like, ah, you are here, you know this place, I don't know this place now. 
Imagine if I had the money of me, like, so this is why you need people with experience, this is why you should learn. You should not do life alone, you should not like I can do it myself. So um, so let's move to volunteer. So what we just talked about is the process to start in the community. So what should you do? Learn from people and all of that. So let's talk about real life examples of how volunteering can lead to career advancement. So this is the question I asked earlier that how many people have benefited from volunteering right? I was just giving my time. What will you give me in return? People say that thing when I say, oh, I'm a volunteer. I'm like, what do I have to give? I mean, the question sounds on my mind. Yeah, but let's um, talk about it. So the, one of the benefits of volunteering is that you get experience that you cannot pay for. Most of the experience, let me see, pay, pay is not payment all the time. So people get their job and they start paying on the first day. Because they do not have experience, they do not to do something well. But if the person has been volunteering, those mistakes they will overlook it for you and they tell you that it's what to do, you know. Let's say that you are a web developer, for example, now, and uh, you volunteered for Python and you built our website. Very good example. We would have made say, don't do this, don't do that, you know. We would have, ah, ah, as a team, if I should communicate, you know, all those basic things would have corrected you. And if you don't get a job, you would learn from those mistakes. But some people lose their job. I had a friend that lost the job in one week because of um, skills that you don't have. Not um, the coding skill, now soft skill. And it's majorly communication. We, most people struggle with communication. It's a basic problem. Yeah. So you need to learn all these things by volunteering. It's not only volunteering, but it's like interning, right? But volunteering is the cheapest. Just like the Python I gave now, we would not have choice because I mean, we're not paying you. But based on the experience that the team members have, we're able to like, guide you and say, This is what to do. I mean, even on the team, we have senior developers, you're able to learn from them for free. Those things, you would not pay for it. But if you just jump on, and then you say, I spent a lot to learn this skill, I cannot do it out for free. <laughs> well, you lose it for free. <laughs> so you pick one. So, and we go for a talk, they're like, how many years experience do you have? You can see that I work on a Python website, you see the website is live. You know, those are the things that you get from volunteering. Um, so these are events that, you know, I've worked on in the past. So, like I said, the volunteering not only helps me grow professionally and personally, but also impacted me positively. My first opportunity to leave this country was volunteering. I used to be, I actually designed <laughs> trademark. Um, um, the Google Developers Group organizer for five years, and my first opportunity was through Google. And you know, that's how it is like you get these things without paying for it because you've, you've seen that you've given yourself to this thing, you've poured yourself to it. So it didn't only like, um, there are places that work to it, are that on a normal day I would not have access to, but because of volunteering, because I've been volunteering for this organization that I Oh, really tell us about what you have, what you did there. And that's how conversation you know, came up and I'm um, having access. So this also led to further opportunities, including hosting more events. People could trust you more because they see you do it. So now, after doing it successfully, I can go on LinkedIn and say, oh, I did this and this is my role there. And people can trust you more because there's a result. Not only you're doing your head, but there's no result. So these are the opportunities you get by volunteering. If only you are um, just supported in one way or the other. You can even say, oh, I helped um, in managing the event, events this way or that way. You know, that is your own success story. It's not mine. I can't take your glory. So these are the opportunities you get um, for volunteering. So how do this lead to getting better? I think I've already shared the story generally. When I talked about the free opportunities to get by mentoring, working on a team with people, many companies need volunteers, many foundations need volunteers. We go out there to support them today, or still looking out for what do I gain? Everyone's like, oh, what do I gain? And I'm like, can you enjoy this generation? Once you just have a conversation, you're like, oh, so you got a foundation, they're like, what's this from? So I don't share this story. I'm sorry to the guy right by it. I hope he doesn't see this recording. So, <laughs> so this guy, I met him and I'm like, oh, I'm doing this with ladies, um, and I need, I want to say specific things. So he's skillful in something that I was not getting anybody for. And I'm like, can you volunteer to help us teach? And this is like charging me hundreds of thousands. I'm like, we are not collecting money. The people are doing it for free. Even we know what is paying me. We don't have sponsors. And I'm like, no, I can't do it. I can't do it. Guys, guess what? 
like two or three months later, somebody reached out to me and said that somebody needs me to recommend him. I'll leave him up a calling this time because he's stuck. That person needs an HA that is registered. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'm like, wait, this is not this guy or that money that way. Uh, 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 nah. I, I didn't help him. Not because I'm wicked. Number one, I'm lying. What, what has he done? That was an opportunity. But he blew it out because he needed money. And this person that we're picking now, this is why you should think beyond money sometimes. Don't be too transactional about life. Everything. How much do you give me? How much? How much? How much? No. Some people to come and speak at Spy Condo, they will still ask you that, how much do you pay me? Don't be too traditional. So he didn't really talk to me about the lesson. The reason why I can't say that is because I'll be lying and I'll tell him to lie. But secondly, I just meant that life is fickle. Like, don't take things too deep. Help where you can help. At the same time, be wise about it. Don't overburden yourself because you want to volunteer. Wisdom is probably the first step to direct. That's what the Bible says. So know how to balance things. For example, you're working in a day job and you're also in school. And you are doing a lot of things. You should not say that because I'm going to volunteer, I must volunteer, and then you are lacking at your workplace or so. So just be able to fit in. Do what you can do. Time yourself. I will do two hours weekly. I'm open to volunteering two hours monthly. But just make sure that I'm contributing to people's life. If you really look at it, um, there's no self made person. I keep saying this thing. I'm like a self taught programmer. Yeah, yeah, you did it yourself, but you used somebody's material on YouTube. Or did you create your material for them? So you are still a product of so many people's YouTube videos, tutorials, ebooks. So you didn't do it yourself. So if some people have contributed to your life, so why should you not contribute to other people's life? You would need if you pay for the course, if you use GitHub to check your um, errors, if you use somebody's open research. So be open to contributing. And for example, Python is an open source program, you're not even paying for it. So there are a lot of opportunities where I'm getting. So I want that, you know, they are already giving me two minutes to go. So let me just see, okay. So what are the practical tips on balancing volunteer commitments with professional goals? I think I already talked about this. Set the expectations. Allow your values and don't just volunteer. How this help me? Ask questions to yourself. Now, okay, I'm going to type of Python. Now, what's the benefit? I didn't think Python. Will you need a calling this out tomorrow? Because if you come to us to sign it, you will not sign it if you have not done anything. That's what the truth is. Like, so, you ask yourself these questions. Manage your time and energy. I've talked about that. So, be very intentional. Communicate and negotiate. Some people, you're going to tell you somewhere, and maybe exam happens, you just disappear. MIA. No communication, nothing, nothing. I mean, it just shows who you are. So, don't think because you are not being paid for it, you should not be responsible. Anything worth doing is worth doing well. So, even what I'm telling you, doing well. Seek feedback and recognition. So after an event like this, you can ask for certificates, you can ask for something to show that you really volunteered. So um, what are the insights of leveraging community involvement, gain new skills, access to resources? There are some things that you pay a lot of money for, but in the community you get it for free. Because you're part of the community, because you're part of um, the volunteers. You know, skill development, all these things that I've already talked about it. Exposures to opportunities. For example, Nigeria has been doing. But I was supposed to go to Python Jewels. I already found that, but for this happened. happen. These are things that you spend a lot of money for, but because I'm part of the grand state, that was an opportunity for free. I mean, do you know how much it's like? Do you know how much all of these things cost? And you get it for free. So, these are things you get volunteering. And even the Python grant thing now, it was um, somebody recommended me, talk about a condition that, oh, I know this lady, she has million of quality. You can put out the grant. So, what does that mean? If you're applying for anything, from PSL, I'm part of it that say, don't give her that money. And if I have reasons to say they should not give you that money, you won't get it done. <laughs> so that you see that power, like, just and you don't even know that I have that, you know, that doesn't mean you should come to me and tell me anything now. It doesn't change <laughs> anything. So you know, those are the opportunities. There's some opportunities that you can't get. So this money cannot buy everything. Money cannot buy everything. So personal growth and confidence. People like us, we learned how to speak by volunteering. It was not something that we paid for public speaking for. You know, when you start speaking volunteering, you start getting used to it. So, I mean, um, let me leave you with this quote. Alone, we can do so little, but together, we can do so much more. Thank you so much for this.
Thank you very much for that.